Arrival at the crease. Top class average. He replaces Randor Sawan. Yeah. A little bit of extra bounce and movement again. And he's seen this often enough, Ban Lara. This is his home ground. It's going to be four for uh, Brian Lara. Just uh, creeping over the boundary at third man, steered away quite deliberately to the delight of the Carib girls and the craft. Didn't flash it, it just tried to relax the hands on contact. He recognizes that he needs to build an innings. Hasn't played in first-class cricket for some time. In. Beautiful play. The Brian Lara cover drive is a treat to watch. Nakai NG was quickly across the Zondeki, having a word in his ear. Obviously telling him that he certainly cannot afford to be bowling that full to Brian Lara unless the ball is swinging a great deal, and it isn't. Good shot, beautiful shot. Just look at that ace of the bat, just opening to get the ball into that gap between the man at point and... Right here, and Trinidad. Bottom edge, missing the stumps, very close to the stump microphone. End result is it's gone for four runs. Day is our day, not at the moment anyway. That was close to the off stump. That's a, that's a very good delivery. Stop to him to have a word. As a matter of fact, almost a congratulate him on such a pretty good delivery. Went for four runs, but I think he wanted to tell him, listen, it went for four, but it was still a good delivery. And see there from Brian Lara's reaction. He wasn't absolutely sure what was happening there. Four runs. He's taking him on, Brian Lara. Pace. And if you have a class batsman, he will try and take him on. Try and dismantle the young fast bowler. Fast bowling has a lot to do with confidence as well. Youngest ball in the attack. As he does now. Monday Vandiki has pace, there's no doubt about that. He can get up to 88 miles per hour. But he's been struggling against Lara because Lara has been latching onto anything loose and applying pressure. You can see the pressure on Zandiki from ball one. That's gone past mid on. That will race away, one would think. For the fast outfield here at Porras Bain, just about pulls up. Brings up his 50 though with a third run, Brian Lara. Yet to another half century. Not the biggest crowd in the world here in Porras Bain, Trinidad. But those who are here are well appreciative of this half century. And they'll be saying half century so far. Throwdowns on the morning. This is what you do. Let's get a stride in and don't try to hit it too hard. How lovely. Well, if he thought he had a slim margin for error against Weibel Hines, he'll certainly find out. Perhaps he needs to suggest he needs a man on the extra for the boundary. The time. This is against whatever spin there might be, but he gets almost to the pitch of it, very close to it, and just opens a blade of the bat to find the gap. Got it this time. Bat here. It wasn't caressed. It was spanked. Just got on top of the bounce. Got on his toes to ensure that it hit the middle of the bat.
Atlanta. Well, he played a shot like that in the last over that wasn't hit quite with that sort of authority and power. It was uh, no less graceful. Uh, there was a flourish about that that could only be from Brian Lara. It looks extravagant, but technically, that is uh, as good as you get. And he stayed side. Fantastic. Superb shot. As late as you like from Lara. Brian Lara, focus. Certainly powerful hit. I think he just got his hand on it, Ashwell Prince, but not enough to prevent the ball from going down to the boundary. Even better. The second boundary of the over. Plays clear to catch any lofted drive from Brian Lara. When that ball sped past him, he applauded. Not too sure he was applauding at the shot or he was trying to tell Jack Callis that it was a good little because it was in the air for some time, but wide of him. It certainly was an excellent shot. Boundary number three. Lots of hands going to heads, lots of hands going in the air above the heads. It's not the first time that you'll see opposition fielders and bowlers doing this sort of a thing when they see Brian Lara play a shot. It's in the air, but they think to themselves, oh, he's fortunate, that could have gone to hand. He knows exactly where he's putting that ball, Brian Lara. Don't worry about that. are taken in the Queen's Park over here today, but you can bet your bottom dollar. A lot of people will say they were here, whether they were or not. And, uh, that'll be it. That'll be Brian Lara's 27 catch under. What a remarkable story this is from a remarkable player. Raises his helmet and the bat to his adoring fans here at the Queen's Park Oval. Muted applause from the opposing captain. Quite exceptional, quite phenomenal. The words really which uh, are inadequate to describe it. This has been a sensational knock from Brian Charles Lara. 37 deliveries for that 100. 14 fours. Absolutely magnificent. Glorious. He's played a few of those in this innings. And you wouldn't want to pick out which one is better than the other. All are absolutely fantastic. And so is the shot. Cover driving at its best. Look at that balance all along the ground, the full extension, the real flourish at the end, that high back lift does not budge an inch. And he's been peppering that advertising board, finding the gap as well. Absolutely superb. Here's Antini to Lara. gone away dispatched in the air but a long long way in the air wide over pitch again for McCarantini slanting across the left hand of Brian Lara just slashes at that one he knows that there's plenty of room in that region 
Well, no one will deny this one. Not quite. Attempt to make the tumbling save, and the ball goes all the way. Lovely shot again from Brian Lara. Perhaps not quite out of the middle of the bat. Just playing nice and straight on his undecky back on the park, so that's good news. Obviously, no uh, concerns injury wise. A concern here for McCain Tenney that didn't stop, but he dived over the top. Had to make uh, some quick ground as he moved sharply to his left. But lovely control from Brian Lara. Oh, that's wonderful. He's played some great shots through the day, but none better than that. It's because he has to keep a vertical bat and hit the ball through the onside, the on-drive. Just a nice little closing of the blade of the bat on contact as late as possible, not too early. Good balance, good result. Spanked away and what placement, what placement! Oh, persist just outstanding and just bear in mind as well that Lara was beaten outside the off stump the last two balls of last over one's playing an attacking shot and the other all ends up defensively doesn't give it a second thought just gets into line and crashes that away two fielders there are not much more than 30 paces apart and they couldn't do anything about it coming up to an 150 now, Tara. And there it is. Another opportunity for him to raise his back. Another opportunity for the home crowd to acknowledge their most famous sporting son. And they've had a number, not only in cricket, but Lara would have to have been the most uh, celebrated, the most illustrious on day one. There is a sweep on the leg side. He's got some work to do, but uh, he's not going to get there. It's a boundary late in the day for Brian Charles Lara. It sums up the way that he's batted today. The selection of which deliveries to put away has been spot on it's a full toss so it's easy it's one of the easier opportunities he's had that's the way he's played he's waited for the walls that he can score look how he's played that he's hit the one before straight to the fielder now he plays it deliberately away from gibbs that's a shot of a master batsman it certainly is i was speaking with nicky Bayer before the start of play today 20,000 first-class runs now to Brian Lara, by the way, with that stroke. He said he could not believe how he can open the blade so late and find the gaps in the field. He played a cover drive off the air early when he came to the attack yesterday, which stunned him. And I think that'll be doing pretty much the same to Andre Nell from around the wicket. That is remarkable batting. Inside edge, nice and fine. That's a frustrating boundary. Well, Andre Nell has had his fair share of frustration against uh, Brian Lara. LBW shout last evening that he was convinced was out. And Lara looking anything but secure this morning, but he's picked up four here. And that's just symptomatic of uh, how this pitch is playing. New ball as well. It's, uh... That is an outstanding strike for Brian Lara. It hasn't gone all the way. Magnificent stuff. He knows that's where he can score the bound. He's been trying to do it for most of the morning, actually. It's the only one he's got hold of. Brilliant shot. Well, the plan works for Lara here. In the field in for the fifth ball of the over, trying to prevent the single. Throw everything at it. That wasn't uh, particularly short from Antini. Ten paces deeper than where Gully would be. Got to be in tight here, the South Africans. He's got some batting, Matt, and it's gone uh, just off the glove of Mark Boucher, and has actually gone for four in the end. So four runs, the call from up by Dave Shepard. Six runs coming off the over in total. And the score now, 3.36 for nine. 
Now Lara just looking to scoop this round on the leg side. Lara on strike. Charges, no ball, Lara stepping, four runs, great shot. Magnificent stuff from Brian Lara. Takes him now into the 190s. Played some wonderful shots yesterday, Brian Lara, but I don't think any eclipse this. This is a man at the peak of his powers, charging a bowler who's bowling at 140 k's, giving himself room and smearing the ball through extra cover. Prevent Lara from hitting a four off uh, a length delivery. Got him! That is a very good delivery. Just tipped the off stump certainly did seem a way so Brian Lara has been dismissed for a sublime 196 great delivery from Andre Noah to finish the innings I suppose it had to take one of those to wrap things up for the West Indies and importantly to remove Brian Lara the crowd are stunned as you can imagine but that has been a real treat watching this innings from Brian Lara handshakes all round from uh, the South African players to Brian Lara they know just exactly how good this innings has been. It has been one of the very, very best you will ever see. It's a stunned and silent Queen's Park Oval that witnessed the fall of Brian Lara's wicket. It was a great delivery from Nell, a slower ball that bit and just took the top of off stump. But Lara now getting the ovation he deserves. Superb. Absolutely superb. Graham Smith said, as soon as he arrived at the crease yesterday, he looked so determined. The members were on their feet as well. In the Jeffrey Stolmeyer stand. And I'm not surprised his teammates are doing exactly the same.